This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the gas laws. We will start by looking at the relationship between the volume and pressure of an ideal gas, otherwise known as Boyle's law. The volume occupied by a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure, at constant temperature. This can be written as pressure times volume equals a constant K. In this graph of volume against pressure, we can see that as the volume decreases, the pressure increases, or as the pressure decreases, the volume increases. Another way of stating Boyle's law is pressure is directly proportional to 1 over volume. So in this graph of pressure against 1 over volume, we get a straight line, meaning that the pressure is directly proportional to 1 over volume. For example, if the pressure of a fixed mass of gas is doubled, the volume halves at constant temperature. Next, we look at the relationship between the volume and temperature of an ideal gas, which is otherwise known as Charles's law. The volume occupied by a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature in Kelvin, at constant pressure. This can be written as volume is directly proportional to temperature. In this graph, we have volume against the temperature in Kelvin, and as you can see, we get a straight line. This can also be written as volume divided by temperature equals a constant K. For example, if the absolute temperature of a fixed mass of gas is doubled, the volume also doubles at constant pressure. Next, we look at the relationship between the pressure and temperature of an ideal gas, otherwise known as Gay-Lussac's law. The pressure of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature in Kelvin, at constant volume. This can be written as pressure is directly proportional to temperature. In this graph of pressure against temperature in Kelvin, we can see we have a straight line. This can also be written as pressure divided by temperature equals a constant K. For example, if the absolute temperature of a fixed mass of gas is doubled, the pressure also doubles at constant volume. And finally, we look at the combined gas law. Here we have the equation for the combined gas law. It's P1 times V1 divided by T1 equals P2 times V2 divided by T2. Next, we'll use the combined gas law to calculate the molar volume of a gas at 25 degrees C. To solve this, I'll rearrange the combined gas law to solve for V2, which is the final volume of the gas. Next, I'll input the values. So we have our initial pressure, which is 100,000 pascals. We have the molar volume of a gas at STP, which is 22.7 decimeters cubed. And we have the new temperature of the gas in Kelvin, which is 298K. We then divide by the temperature of a gas at STP, which is 273 Kelvin, multiplied by our final pressure, which we are assuming stays the same, to give us a volume of 24.8 decimeters cubed. 